Why? St. Patrick's Day. Isn't that the one day a year we all get to be Irish? It's a lot of fun. And to help you celebrate, I have the new Stampin' Up! Lucky Clover stamp set. Come and watch as I demonstrate for you my SIP card using it. My SIP card uses very few supplies. That's because SIP, well that stands for just stamps, ink, and paper to make a handmade card. I'm Shelly Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles, and for 21 years, I've been teaching others how to create their own hand stamp smiles. I had a different card plan using the coordinating Lucky Clover Punch, and after it was designed, I discovered, ruh -roh, it is sold out and won't be back, so that was to plan B. But stick around to the end, and I'll show you the original card in case you're one of the lucky ones to have the punch, or you don't mind fussy cutting. Here's a closer view of the Lucky Clover stamp set. It's from the January through April 2023 Stampin' Up! mini catalog. It's been a long, long time since we've had a St. Patrick's Day stamp set, and I'm so excited. So that's what's on my mind, St. Patrick's Day, because that's around the corner. But the card I'm going to demonstrate for you, the SIP card, it could be a friend card you could use any time of the year. And as I'm looking at the other greetings in here, sending luck and love and good luck, my little brother started a new job um, on Monday. This would have been a good card for him too, because he was a little nervous, you know, left a job after 15 years to for, pursue something better. So while we're talking, hey, it is celebration 2023. The best time of year, I say second only to Christmas, because this is when we get the gifts. And so for every $50 or $100 purchase that you make through um, February 28th in my online store, you get to pick one of these exclusive products for free. So uh, the first in the catalog are the free with 50, uh, the stamp sets, designer paper, very, very popular. Hope it lasts, but... I won't be surprised if it doesn't because that is just going like crazy. And more designer paper and stamp sets, still free with 50. Look at all these choices. And there's no limit to how many your orders can earn. All right, and then we have a couple of free with 100. Beautiful stamp set. Did a card that I like. Ooh. And this paper, I'm going to be using this today. The Dandy Designs 48 sheets of 12 by 12 <laughs> designer series paper. Beautiful. You're going to love it. And I need to tell you about, uh, well, this is a, with a $300 order, or if you have a party, and I can put a party together for you, uh, get a hold of me, and we can do that, an online party. And, you know, this is a fantastic time of year to join Stampin' Up! I mean, it's always a good time, but it's a little extra special right now during celebration. There are three options. We've never had three options before. You can join for just uh, $99 and get an extra $50 worth of products of your choice for a total of $175 in your starter kit. Or you can get the little mini stamp and cut in a boss machine, either in the traditional white or the sneak peek in color 2023, 2025. 2025 boho blue. How cool is that for an extra 30 in your kit? So that's like getting that for half price. And if you've been thinking about it, I would love to have you join my team of growing Stampin' Up! demonstrators. It'd be fantastic. I have a link under the video. Actually, just go to uh, www start my stamping business with Shelly.com to join. So let's get started on our card and every card needs a card base. So we'll start by trimming our card. And this time I'm gonna do the same size, eight and a half by 11. This is granny green cardstock, but I'm gonna cut my base differently. I'm going to do a long card that opens up at the bottom. So we'll pick this up, we'll slide my cardstock in. Now this time, this is eight and a half by 11, right? And so this is eight and a half. I want to cut, it and cut this in half. I'm gonna get two cards out of every eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock. How cool is that? So half of eight and a half by 11 is four and a quarter. We've got four, we've got five. Halfway in between would be the halfway mark, right? That longest one. Well, then the halfway between the four and the four and a half would be four and a quarter. 
Okay, and so we're going to put it on the line, not next to it, but right on the line. And do you see, I have it butted up against the top here. You need to square it off, it's butted up. You don't want to come down here and hope that you're holding it on the line straight. Just go ahead and, and use what's here so you get that fantastic cut. All right, and so I have my blades right now. They're both at the bottom. This dark gray one, well, that's the cutting blade. So we're just gonna pull this across and voila. We have two Granny Apple Green card bases. Now, I want to fold this in half. If I just go ahead and fold it, it'll be really crinkly. So instead, we're gonna put a crease in it. So this is 11 inches, so we need to go to five and a half. Slide this under. There we go. I mean, I could pick it up, but I didn't knew I didn't need to. So this will be easy. So 11 is five and a half, and I just showed you that the halfway mark in between is the halfway, <laughs> the longest line. So we'll put this on the, on the line. Of course, being careful, we're butted up to here. And now up here is the scoring blade. Scoring, it's going to score a line in there. It's going to give us a nice straight crease. Do you see that? All right, let me set aside my paper trimmer. You know, and everything I'm showing you is available to order my online store. All right, so there are different um, thoughts of how to fold it. I tend to just go with it. A lot will go against it. You know what? I don't see a difference using the quality Stampin' Up! cardstock that we have, but I do like to use my bone folder. So I take these two edges, line them up, and then go ahead and finish that fold. And now I've got a good crisp fold for my card base. This card is so simple. Like I said, it was gonna be a little bit more, you know, some punching and some bling, but uh, we had to make a switch switcheroo. And that's what we do, right? Sometimes we don't have the things on hand that we need and, and we're in a hurry. It's like, okay. So what I have here, I was showing you that that uh, dandy designs, designer series paper, that's just one of the patterns. Well, there are two of the patterns, <laughs> one of the sheets in there, free with a $100 order, and it is just the prettiest colors. So what I have here is stamp and seal. I just put my finger here, it's a little bit roughed up, and go across, and I've got some basic black cardstock. So I want to put this on and put this here, and I could have done strips, but you know how hard that would be, say a small strip? Just try, if you're trying to save money, say, okay, I only need a quarter. That's just, I thought it's not worth my time for the little bit more cardstock that I'm gonna use trying to get that perfect. So instead, I just cut that large enough to hold my designer series paper strip with the amount that I wanted peeking out. All right. So I want to put that on there. Make sure it's lined up. Let's turn it over. All right, so I haven't pressed yet. I see a little bit sticking out. We don't want that. So we'll peel it up and get it on there straight. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's looking very, very nice. And so then we'll just go ahead and hear this right on. As I was doing my modification, I went through several different ideas, and this is the one that I end up liking the best. I tried on basic black, on the basic white, some more layers, and then this just all worked out. So let's turn it over. I don't see, all right. That little bit down there, I'll take my paper snips, and I didn't, Get on here with me, and let's get this over. You just really want to be neat. Neatness counts. <laughs> Remember, they tell us that in grade school, right? But it really does. If your cards are neat, that just makes them so much more eye-catching. So now what I have here is basic white cardstock. Whenever you're using white or cream, the vanilla, you want to use Stampin' Up! Basic White or the Very Vanilla because they have a smooth, tight finish to give you crisp, clean images. My goodness, that's exactly what we want when we're stamping. 
All right, so I'm going to start with my greeting, and this is so fantastic. I, I love friend stuff. A good friend is like a floor, a floor. <laughs> a good friend is like a four-leaf clover, hard to find and lucky to have. Isn't that fantastic? So I've got that little hint of black. It's just so rich. And this is the Tuxedo Black Memento ink pad. So we'll go ahead and give this a good inking and come over here. I did one, surprising, it, I meant to save it and I didn't, I think I threw it away. I went up a little higher than I wanted. I thought it would look good and then I compared it to one I had done earlier that was down a little low. It's like, nope, so a little bit lower. So don't go up it, don't go up so high. And we're not talking maybe a quarter inch difference, but it made all the difference in the world. So this is a nice, bold font and I want that to look good, fantastic. All right, so we'll go ahead and close that. And next I have my coordinating granny apple green pad. It, it's, it's just Stampin' Up! makes it so easy for color coordination. So we've got the cardstock, the ink pad, markers, Stampin' Blends, the designer paper, ribbons, embellishments in the Stampin' Up! colors. So everything is very pleasing to your eye. So what we're gonna do is pick this up, slide that in and we're ready to stamp. And now I've got my four leaf clover. I'm trying to take four and leaf and keep coming up with floor. <laughs> four leaf clover. All right. And then we'll just stamp right over top. This is a solid stamp, so I'm just going to press. I don't need to put a lot of pressure on it, but I want to allow the ink to absorb in and get a good image. And ah, there we have it. Beautiful, beautiful. And then we have these cascading shamrocks. So I thought, okay, give a little bit of ink, come over here and let them come down. Oh, that dresses that up a little bit. Isn't that nice? So to close this, I do a little push, pull on that lip, flip, and then lock it in place. Didn't get a click this time, but I can see it's closed. You don't want those to dry out on you. All right, you know what? I wasn't done with that. <laughs> so I'll show you how to open it again. Back with my Stampin' Seal. Inch in each corner does the trick. I said I was layering and all kinds of stuff and then I decided to pick this up or I trimmed it down and went, wait a minute. There we go. I was getting pretty much the same look without a bunch of layering. And it turned out adorable, didn't it? All right, so I said I wasn't done with this because what I want to do is take one of our coordinating envelopes, basic white medium envelope, and this is also in that same smooth tight finish for a good image. It's fun to have a decorated envelope. So we pick that up, slide that in, and I decide to stay with the floor. <laughs> four leaf clover to decorate that. Here we have a shamrock. I thought, let's stay with it and just add a little decoration on our card. Oh, very, very nice. So the lucky clover stamp set for friend card, St. Patrick's Day. What? And uh, a adorable set to have. All right. So, oh, let me show you. I also use another one of the Granny Apple Green patterns from the Dandy Designs paper. I don't know which one you like best. You can let me know. And now let me show you the card I was going to do. But, you know, I, I strive to, to show you things that are available to order, not to aggravate. You know, if it's not. And I knew it wasn't. The Lucky Clover Punch that coordinated with it. Isn't that adorable? I mean, still a very simple card, but then I had the punching and some bling on there. So if you have the punch, you can do that. Or, you know, there are people, and I'm one of them, who love to fussy cut. <laughs> so you could cut those out and make this card too. And then this was our compromise to keep everything that's available to order and a simple, sweet St. Patrick's Day, or just an any day friend card. All the supplies to make my Lucky Clover friend card are listed below the video and available to order now in my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com.
Com. When you place your February 2023 Stampin' Up! order of $50 or more with me, I'm going to send you one of my Lucky Clover cards. So get on over now to my online store, www.shopwithsholly.com. I'm Shelly Godby, teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.